Hello and welcome to another Arcs of Omen Battle Report. Today, the forces of the Necrons will face the Coven as we go into the bowels of the spaceship and gut it. Let's begin. Ah, the Dark Kid. Hello and welcome to another battle report for Arcs of Omen. Uh, Arcs of Omen, not Arcs of Omen. Uh, yeah, I guess it is Arcs of Omen, but it's boarding actions. We're having a lot of fun. It's going to be Deck Sweeper's mission. We're playing the Coven versus the Necrons. We've each adapted our list a little bit and we've made sure our lists are legal. So let's go over the list real quick and then we'll go over the mission. In a boarding action, you get 500 points to spend. You can take three troops three elites sometimes depending on your faction you get like cool additions i get a i get to take a um, beast if i want a clawed fiend uh, and you cannot double up on elites and things so i'm taking urian rakarth himself i'm taking union of mandrakes five gro five grotesques three grotesques three units of five racks two of them have double liquefy gun and a close combat weapon upgrade and one has an ossifactor and a hex rifle and then a Clawed Fiend. That is 500 points of pure Prophets of Flesh Coven goodness. Okie dokie. So I have 500 points across my boarding party. So you're allowed to take two characters in a Necrons detachment as long as one of them is a Cryptech. So we have a Royal Warden and then a uh, Chronomancer with the uh, Counter Temporal Nanomines. We have in the elite slot one squad of five blade ones. You're allowed to take a fast attack slot, who I've taken the Ophidians once again. Uh, and in the troop slot, I've taken one 10 man squad of warriors, which gets split into two fives at the beginning of the match, and one five man immortal squad. There you have it. Let's dive into the mission. Today we are playing Deck Sweepers. Many are the derelict, derelict, derelict vessels adrift in the void. Some are discovered lost upon deserted space lanes and preyed upon for salvage. That's funny, I hadn't read that and literally goes with the description of like what I talked about, we're gonna gut this space station or whatever. That's hilarious. Others tumbled through the midst of raging void battles, having but recently been depopulated and crippled by incoming fire. Whatever their nature, such void ships often become battlegrounds as rival forces sweep them deck by deck, seeking to purge the enemies and claim the bounty of technology and resources of derelict that the derelict contains, which is really cool. So we do have a, an, a mission bonus, which is if you have the underdog, you get an extra deployment zone, but none of us are 30 points below the other. This is the deployment zone. You can see there we have built it. Nice. It looks really cool. The mission here is we have four objectives on the map. At the end of each command phase, the player whose turn it is scores five points for each of the following they satisfy for a max of 10, which is control one or more and control more. And you can score it in the fifth in the first battle round, or you cannot score in the first battle round. But in the fifth battle round, the person who has the second turn gets it at the end of their turn instead of at the beginning. And sweep the decks is the end game objective. At the end of the battle, each player scores 15 points for each objective marker they control. So going second, massive in this game. With that, let's dive into the deployment. One, two, three, four objectives. And our deployment zones are essentially along the edges here. So one of us will be deploying here. One of us will be deploying over there. Interesting. First, we get to roll for attacker and defender. Attacker will deploy deployment over there. Defender deploys on this side. Look at this. Ooh. You yellow, green, scary dice. Oh my gosh. They're so cool. They're so cool and so bright. And do they roll well? Well, they beat you. So. I will choose to be the defender. Pretty sure I'll just stay here. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere. End of the deployment. So we go back and forth. I started, so I had to put one down. Put Mandrakes down, then you put that unit down. Then I put this unit down, and you put that unit plus your Chrono Monster. Then I put this unit down with Urien over here. Then you put that unit of Immortals down. Then I put this Claude Fiend down, and then you put the Ophidians right there. So you've got your Warden, uh, Royal Warden, and he can basically move on 
after, like during the first turn, and you do have them in like teleport strike. And I have grotesques and five more racks basically in reserve as well. Um, you know, waiting to come on. Well, that's really cool. What enhancement did you take? So I took the signature weapon. So his Aeon stave will be plus one strength, plus one damage. Very neat. That's cool. Just like do a little bit of extra damage. And with that, we roll off to see. Oh, you're going to do your, your protocols. Must, must beeps and boots. And of course, there's no there's no balanced data slate here. So it's like good old regular style protocols. You have to be within aura range of something. You need a noble to activate them. All that stuff as well. We did not know that when we built lists, so uh, we're going to say that the protocols are active as per the um, as per the balanced data slate. Um, but we will remember that for next time. Well then, John's just just you know doing it. Look at him. Look at him. So he's so focused right now. He's like, what turn do I need to do shenanigans against the Dark Eldar? I really like this style of mission though. There's like some really cool stuff happening here. Let us know with a comment down below. Have you played any boarding actions? We've, like, it took us, I will, I'm not gonna lie, it took us forever to build this table because it's all like Lego and I primed it all before I could like built it. So it was very hard to put together. <laughs> we were shaving like paint off and stuff to make sure it fit nicely. But you know what? It does look awesome. With that, we roll. Winner has to go first. I really wanna go second. I have to go first. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, with that, let's dive in to round number one. We'll come back after movement. End of the movement phase. So they moved up, opened that door. This ran all the way around. It was really, really fast. Got in there. They then moved into this uh, deployment zone. The Mandrakes moved up over here. They moved up into this deployment zone. Uri and Rakoth moved up and opened that door. They moved up, opened that door. And that is the entirety of what I can do on my first turn. So with that, we go on to Necron turn number one. We are both at three command points now because we start at one, I get one, and then John, and then when John's turn gets one, so we each have three. This is like the game of infinite command points. We just have so many command points all the time for everything. So that's just how that works. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> it's just how that works. Awesome. John's just moving up his stuff, getting into position to open doors and do all that stuff. Ah, this is really fun. I love boarding actions. They are brutal, yet really entertaining. Probably my one of my favorite ways to play 40k right now. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so um, these warriors opened the door. This chronomancer opened the door. These Ophidians opened the door. These warriors opened the door. A royal warden has shown up. Yep. And now the counter temporal nano mines will be laid upon. Yeah, these guys right there. Okay, and what does that do? Uh, so I pick a unit within 18 inches, and then they're. Don't half... forget, you can't measure it through walls. Oh, we can't measure it Correct. through walls. Because we are playing Arcs of Omen. So well, you can't actually draw any measurement through walls. It has to be through hatches and things oh. like that. Well, then I don't have ah. a valid. I don't have a valid target. Okay. So, uh, so that's that for that. But you could pick a unit if it's within range. Then minus. It's have to advance in charges. Okay. So that means they would slow them down. Really, really powerful in such a close confined quarters over here. Okay. So with that, let's dive into. And we're still learning rules, so you know. Please comment down below if you forget anything. Dark Eldar turn number two. So to start the, the, I do hold one and I hold two. Is it within an inch? It's within an oh, inch. Oh, then you, I don't hold them. You don't hold them. <laughs> I, was, I was so excited that I was gonna hold some objectives this turn. Nope, can't hold any. Okay, let's uh, dive in. It is an inch, it's not three. I'm thinking three, I'm like, and even if that was three, I can't measure through there or through there. <laughs> okay, fair. fair enough. Okay, let's let's continue this game. End of the movement phase for the Drukari. So these grotesques moved and opened that door. They kind of moved, opened that door, just to give me some more angles to go up. Uri and Rakoth ran to just be on that objective. They ran through that door, ready to flame and potentially charge them. And then this unit ran 
<laughs> potentially to charge into them too. And then they just moved up to open this door, but they have one hex rifle that can shoot there. So we'll see if he needs it. Meanwhile, the Claude Fiend, following its basic instinct, move around the door and is going to go and charge uh, the Immortals. Okay, so with that, let's do some shooting, but it seems like the fight's going to happen and it's going to be bloody. Two liquefy guns into your warriors. Mm -hmm. What's out? That is seven hits. Four, five, six, seven. Strength four. Uh, toughness four. Okay, four is at AP two. That'd be three. Uh, and AP two. Do I receive cover through there or no? Yep. Well, if you you could allocate it to both of them, and yes, you would. Okay. Yeah. But you have three of them so far. Yeah. So five ups. Yep. So nope. nothing there. And, and one then, more. One more at six ups. Okay. Nope. And then reanimations. Boop, boop. But you are in the Undying Legion. Mm -hmm. So on fives, rerolling ones to reanimate. And oh. rerolling one of them. Okay. So two rerolls. Okay. I one go. comes back. He's like, Bloop. I have arrived. Bloop. Okay. That's good for him. He does have a gun, but he's not. I don't think he wants to use it just yet. He might. He might. How many? Because oh, he's hitting on like terrible right now. And he can see you. I'll just measure it, see if that matters. Okay, so I believe I will use the casket of flensing. I might as well. It's oh. once per game. Oh my goodness. It's a casket of flensing. 2d6 strength 3 AP2 hits. Because it automatically hits the target. Which is really exciting. Okay, Ophidians. Take this. Oh, not bad. 10 hits. But it is uh, only strength 3, though. So toughness... Four. Okay, so five to wounds. They are covered because I can't. I can only really see two of them. I think. Yeah, I can only really see two, and they're both covered. I can't fully see them, so they get plus one to their save anyway. Needing fives to wound. Oh, that's only two wounds. <laughs> they're gonna just heal it. Oh, sad. <laughs> so five ups. Yep. And We're you good. don't even care. They're like casket of flensing sends these like literally trapped souls to go and like try and scare you to death. Nope. They're Necrons, they don't care. Then we've got two liquefier guns into here. Mm -hmm. Two D6 hits. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Skyri, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Where I'm making you never want to play this game ever again. <laughs> I think nothing can compare to Necromunda, which we've been playing, and that stuff, like, is gut wrenching when things do not go your way. It is just like heartbreaking. <laughs> okay, so needing four to again with my liquid fire guns. That is four at AP two. Uh, five up and vulnerable. Thank Ooh, you, my Ooh, fancy or chronomancer. Yeah. Nope. Uh, okay. Liquid. Oh, I was so close to killing the squad outright. <laughs> so close. I should. We have infinite command points. I should remember that. Literally gives us a chance to just re-roll everything and anything until we get access to like once if we get rules in other books that aren't this book here you have access to some cool strats well i get to reanimate you do oh, oh no <laughs> they all come back ah uh, oh, gross <laughs> i don't like this <laughs> i want to go home I am home. Wait a second. So this hex rifle is going to shoot you. Okay. Uh, you are covered, but I can draw a line through there. It misses. Okay. I'm going to use my CP. I'm going to oh, CP reroll that. Actually. First CP of the oh, game. it misses again. Okay. Okay. So that's in the shooting phase. Sure. Cool. Okay. With that, we're going to do some charges. I'm going to charge them into those warriors. Yep. All right. It's five. Let's get in. Come on in. Oh yeah. Come on in. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, they have to go like closest to closest, slash as far as they can. Look at this, he's he's making me move my own doom. I, yes, please move it for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're gonna charge into that. They're gonna overwatch. Are they gonna overwatch? They okay. are. Okay, one CP for that. So that's 10 shots. Uh, 10 shots. And they can all see me, yep, that seems about right. Pew pew. Pew pew again. One hit. Yeah, nice. Uh, toughness four. Uh, yes. That's a wound. Six up invul. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll it. Ooh, because it's the charge phase and I can. <laughs> nope. And then a five up feel no pain. Nope. Okay, you kill one. 
Ah, wah, wah. Look. That has to be one that you can see. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can make it. Rawr. They do. Let's go. Let's let's destroy the warriors. Let's kill them. Kill them dead. <laughs> and then on this side, the Claude Fiend's going to try to attack these immortals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to. <laughs> it's very close, though. Very close. Well, I'm going to start with this squad right now. No, not that squad. This squad right here. Yeah, let's start with this squad. So they're going to just move out. They're going to attack you. Okay, so uh, four guys that have, or three guys, yeah, three guys that have the hitting on uh, threes and winning on fours with their poison weapons. Just one invulnerable save. Oop. One oh. goes down, and then the sergeant with his electro corrosive weapon. Okay, wounding on fours as well. That's three invulnerable saves. Oh, yeah, yeah that's fine. Ooh, so one. sad. Three reanimation. Does it matter? And you can reroll one of them and reroll once because you're in that. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, that warrior squad is a monster. Yes, I got one. I got him dead. <laughs> I killed one. Thank goodness. Okay. And uh, I guess that's that. Then I'm just gonna go in there. Whatever. Good. Would you like to interrupt? Uh, no. You remember that it, it gets more attacks when you damage it? Yes. <laughs> I was hoping you would. So <laughs> it just gets angry and attacks you more. Fine, be that way. Let's attack over here. So hitting on threes over here. And these are the regular gats. Wounding on fours. So that's two at AP one. So those are five ups. One goes down. And then the electro corrosive whip. And then wounding on fours. And I will reroll one with a CP. So two at AP three. Is it AP two normally? I used one in the charge phase. I haven't used one in the fight phase yet. They die. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, dead. Rawr, let's go. Let's get them. Um, 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 um. uh, the one squad of warriors is unkillable. That one, dead. <laughs> good, 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 good. Now, Claude Fiend time. Time for the beast to be unleashed. Hitting on fours. Ah, oh, sad. Wounding on threes. Nothing. It's not angry enough yet. Uh, well, these guys will do a big old pile in. Rah, 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 rah. Rah. Here they come. They're coming again. They're coming to attack my Claude Fiend. Yay. No, leave me alone. Beast. Ten attacks with these immortals. Ouchies. Mortals would be it's scary. Not fun at all. <laughs> Look at that. It's all fighting. All it's right. fighting across the decks and halls. Uh, hitting on threes. Yep. And what's the toughness on this? Five. So wounding on fives. Nice. Threes to hit. Okay, four hits. Wounding on fives. Any AP on these? No. Five up safe. Nope. Takes a wound. It is now angry. Put a little wound marker on it. Is, uh, um, you know, just because. And now four warriors get to fight these rackety racks. Hitting on threes. Nice. And then wounding on fours. Yep. Oh, yeah. Two. Six up imbles. And five up feeling the paints. Ooh. One more goes down. Yeah. Ouch. 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 I only lost two, so they don't have to take a bravery test or morale. At the end, I did kill one squad, which is good. And now we move into a Necron turn number two. Uh, no objectives for the Necrons, but we are stuck into the fight now. Yes. Okay. The Royal Warden will nominate these guys to fall back and shoot. That's awesome. And they will fall back in this direction. No. Leave him and alone. And hold on to this because it's it's mine, didn't you know? It's mine. <laughs> no, don't do it. Okay. This, uh, this I love this game. Or this game is so much fun. And then the royal warden will yep. will come up and draw a bead. Yep. Okay. I like it. And then we'll come back after you've done your movements. All right. So end of the movement phase. We moved out. The uh, the Ophidians have come around. They're they're eyeing up those fellas. You want to slow them down? My chronomancer's there. And you know what? These flayed ones are just being super sneaky. Since we draw our measurements. Yeah, measure. 
you can't measure through walls, so this is like an infinite. Yep. I like it. Oh, they're so spooky. That's so cool. It's exciting. They're just hanging out there. Dun, dun, dun. Nice. Okay, shooting phase. Yep. Uh, you make them slip. So my uh, counter temporal nano mines will now go off and I will Ooh. Ooh. the grotesques will have their advance and charge rolls halved. Okay, nice. And then, uh, yeah, time to do a shoot. Make them a little less effective, especially with them in a good spot. That's a good target for that. <laughs> Let's do some shooting. I think there's a couple of shooting targets over here. So we'll take actually my Chronomancer, who will use his favored weapon to it. shoot the uh, the racks. Nice. Uh, D3 shots. Three shots. Ooh, very nice. Hitting on threes. Oh, pew, 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 pew. One hit. Ooh. Uh, this is strength six. Nice. Uh, so three. Six up pinball. You get no invulnerable okay. save against and this. And it's two damage? It's two damage. Okay, so two feel no pants. No, you do kill one. Ah, sad. Is it any AP or net? No, no. Minus two. Okay, nice. The uh, the immortals are going to goss blaster this uh, this clawed fiend who decided to get real spicy. <laughs> uh, what did he ever do to you? <laughs> Other than be, just don't forget you have to uh, models in your own unit block line aside as well. Ah, uh, so, right. Yeah, there you go. Interesting, interesting mm -hmm. dynamic. Yep. Okay, Especially so... Especially for full shooting units. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hitting on threes. Yep. Uh, what's the AP? Two. Okay, so I'd get cover from these two, so you have to roll those separately. Oh, okay. So what John's going to do instead is do this to make sure that none of them cover my base, so then you, I don't get covered. Nice. Mm -hmm. Threes to hit. And then strength five against toughness. Five. So fours to wounds. Fours to wounds. And that's one, two, three, four at AP. Two. Okay, so that'll just kill him. Dead. Sad. And uh, now no. into the charge phase. Yes. So I will need an eight inch charge for that one. Yep. And since he, they got the five up and vulnerable, this is re-rollable. It is. Very nice. They make it. The Ophidians are like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, poor Rax. Oh. Those Ophidians are going to do lots of damage. We'll come back after they kill my Rax. Unsurprisingly, they killed my Rax. Because that's what they do. Um, and then how they're holding the objective, they're holding that objective. But over here, my Rax get to fight your warriors. And this time, they do not have an invulnerable save. Oh, no. So let's do the two little rackety Rax hitting on four threes. Wounding on fours. That's one at AP two. Six up. Yep. Down there. And then the Hemoxite. Wounding on threes. There's three more. Wounding on fours. <sighs> and I will. Uh, I can't kill both of them. Um, yes, I'll do one. Cool. So one at AP three. Who dies? And one at AP two. AP two, six ups. Yep. Blah, blah. And then one is alive. You're still in your super reanimation purpose. I am. So five. Oh, I want to kill him. Stay dead. Stay dead. One okay. comes back. One re one re rolls. <sighs> Two come back. Just slowly, slowly but surely, just bringing the back to life. We'll come back to that fight later. You get three attacks now. <laughs> this is the ongoing fight of doom. Two hits. Yep. One wound. One wound. Six up. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And with that, it is the end of turn number two. So turn number three starts. I do have one objective, so I get five points, but I do not hold more than you as we move into turn number three. Let's go into my movement phase. You did half their advance and charge rolls. Mm. Like with a decent advance, they still move really fast. It's really the charge roll that's gonna be tough, basically. I'm gonna roll it on camera. Let's see how far these grotesques can run. One. Uh, get us another CP, please. So yep. go up to, I oh, no, I, I go up to two, two, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and re-roll that. I oh. rolled a one. So anything but a one. Is that how that works? Hopefully I get a six because I want that three extra inch. 
Okay, so at least two extra inches of movement. So you go seven, eight, nine. So that was good. So that is just over five inches, mm -hmm. which means halved, I need to roll a 10 to get <laughs> into there. Oh, I still have one CP for a reroll, even though that's really close, long charge. The Mandrakes did roll really hard on their advance. They're rooming around and just getting into range. They're gonna try and take out your Warlord, which will be just, you know, a matter of pride at this point. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna go ahead <clears throat> and uh, I don't have any shooting because they don't have any pistols. It's really about, oh, I do have shooting. They're gonna just shoot your Chrono Monster. Five Bale Blasts from the Mandrakes. Two shots each, hitting on fours, because they advanced. What is your toughness? Uh, four. So wounding on fours, sixes do mortal wounds in addition to normal damage. So that will be four saves and one mortal wound. Okay, so four up invulnerable save. Very nice. Ooh, <laughs> what did you feed your dice, John? And, and a mortal. And a five of feel no pain because I'm yes. Zorikin. Correct. Aha! Uh, took a damage. Take that, you little, you little jerk. Okay. <laughs> so, so now, now is the big money time. Will the grotesques make the charge through <laughs> the crazy weird shenanigans that your Chrono Monsters put them under? Or can they smell blood, as Orion says? Charge, my beasties, charge! So close. However, I will use my reroll to try. So I'm down to zero command points. Will they make it? Oh, look <laughs> at that, that's so close. And then my Mandrakes will charge into him. Oh. They will make it, nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, over here, needing two Sitch now. Uh-oh. This is turn three. This is one less, one's not in range there because he's gonna contest that objective and prevent you from getting a million points. Oh no, he doesn't have to do that. Because I hold two, you, no, you only get five, not one. So, whoa, he's gonna just jump in and go fight. That's another three attacks. Yeah. Aha, Mandrakes charging, hitting on twos. They don't do mortals in the charge phase. I wish, that'd be cool, but they are strength four. Uh-oh. So, force. Uh, so that would be oh five goodness. more saves, please. And I'm out of command points, so I totally would use it on another reroll there. <laughs> uh, five, four ups. Yep. Ah, you fail three this time. I'm going to reroll. <laughs> if you fail three. it, he's dead. <laughs> he has three moves left. Will he survive? Oh, he does with one wound remaining. What a champ. What a champ. Okay, <laughs> so you get to fight with someone now as well. I will take the warriors. Yep, that makes sense. There are three remaining. Three remaining. Do they uh, fight? Hitting on threes. That's right. Two hits. Wounding on... You have three command points remaining. I do. Correct, but and I you can. already used your reroll here. Did. Yes. So fours to wound. Okay. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, oh, I totally forgot. You can't wound me on better than a four plus, unless your strength uh, eight or higher. Oh, yeah, because I'm prophets of flesh. Oh, <laughs> I totally forgot. That would have probably kept them alive. Uh, <laughs> okay, that would have very much kept them alive. Mm. Um, no, because they are strength four, so they can only wound you on fours. No, but the other ones that you attack wound me on threes, the like stronger weapons. Oh, yeah, it's on. It's on. So two go through over here. I have a feel pants. Oh, you kill two. Blah. Blah. Ouchies. And now we go into my sergeant. He has three to try and kill. Uh, twos now. Ooh. And fours to wound. Come on, electro corrosive weapon. He does four at AP two. Four at AP two. Yeah, go electro corrosive weapon. Oh no, needing sixes. Yep. No. I got him. Blah, blah, blah. Good job, Rack. Good job. <laughs> Evening the score here. I was really hoping to kill that, that Chrono Monster. However, you can't fly. You can't get out of combat there. That's not how that works. You're stuck there. And with that, we go into your turn. Ooh, I now, do oh, get you to get fight. you. Okay, fight me then. All Minus right. one to hit me because I am fancy. Okay, so hitting on force. Yep. Nope. Yay. And then D3 attacks with the tail. So two. Hang on. Hooray! No, not those. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're going to your turn. And John, you get five points. Boop. 
for holding at least one objective and not more than me because Urien's holding that one mm -hmm. as we move into your turn number three yeah I totally forgot that overwatch is an action you have to do so I you know I would I would have had an extra dude there <laughs> that's okay we forgot in order to do overwatch you have to like literally say you're doing an overwatch action and then you can overwatch which John did not do uh, he mm -hmm. opened a door instead I did which um, uh, yeah whatever we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll remember for next time but uh, you can learn that from us today. That's right. Okay, what's your next protocol, by the way? He's going to heal the oh, no, void. And uh, yeah, if I charge, I get plus one shrink, which cool. doesn't super matter because of... My Prophets of the Flesh stuff, which is exciting for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to move into movement. We'll come back after the Necrons do some stuffs. Well, we're halfway through the movement phase here. And John's kind of moved them up to go kill the Mandrakes. What have they ever done to you? <laughs> and then these Immortals, remember, they block line of sight to each other. They do. Yeah. So we'll get a couple of guys sort of like... Yeah, I know. It's I love it. It's really cool how that works. You draw some draw a line on those grotesque boys. Yep. You're going to do the clear action because you do have actions and shoot as your protocol. Correct. Which is neat. Um, I will advance my... Yep. Uh, dude... Your dude, bro? Number my, 10. my guy who is called a thing. Yep, the warden. Ooh, you know what? My warden is actually gonna... Yeah. Yep. He's gonna run up here. He's gonna... Just hang out there? Yep. Waiting for next turn? Biding um, his time? The flayed ones are opening that hatch. Nice. Uh, my warden will open the hatch. He ran, he can't do nothing. Oh no, he can't do anything. Yep. You really wanted to buy. He was like, and I'm advancing. I'm going to open this. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, you have to pick a unit to be slow again. Uh, it will be... The Grotesques again. Yep. Um, yeah, the Grotesques. Yeah, slow them down. Makes sense. Cool. And then, um, yeah, I will do... Shooting. Zoom shooting. And... We got three of those... Uh, just out of rapid fire, so three shots. Three shots. Into the grotesques. Sitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Yep. Two. So six up. And five ups. Ooh. One that takes a damage. And I will give it to him. Sure. Charge time. Charge o'clock. We charging into the mandrakes. Into uh, the mandrakes. Oh, four mandrakes. I feel like those mandrakes might die. Closest to closest, I believe. Ooh. Yeah, you just go straight. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Let me just check. Excellent. Yeah, you can just like charge in as normal. You just can only charge stuff you can see. Mm. So with that, it is fight time. You are minus one hit me. Oh, it's nice. Because I am a mandrake and I am sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these will hit on fours and they'll reroll once. Nice. Ooh, re-rolling the one. Oh, that was pretty much everything hit. That was fantastic. They're incensed that you are on top of the... Yeah, yeah, they're like, oh, defense, defensive protocols activate. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, these wood wound on three. Uh, no, no, they are not. But... They are not prophets of flesh. Oh, are they not? You wound them. Yeah, they're T3. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, these will wound on three. Yep. They do not have any bonus. At all. Uh, so that will be... You know what? I will use my Zarakin reroll. Oh, which you have been forgetting this whole time? Yep. And I miss <laughs> it. So four minus Four or five bunch. ups. And three of them just die because they only have one wound each. One, two, and three. Egg, 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 dead. Very, very dead. Okay. Now the big attacks. Yep. Hitting on fours. Nice. Ooh. No explosions. No Excellent. explosions. Excellent. And then one at minus, or one at strength six. Yep, so twos on this one. Okay. Five up pinball. I'm by, uh, yep, one more dice. It's only the sergeant left alive. All right, now a pile of claws. <laughs> no, pile of claws. Or, oh my goodness, look at that. It's so good. <laughs> it's like a mix of just pain and destruction is what it is. Um, that number three. There you go. That's four of them. Cool. Five ups. Come on, little guy. Survive. Oh, 
I have how many command points? One? You have one command point. I'm totally using it. Okay. Five up. Let's go, Night Fiend. <sighs> uh, I would have loved to just have him turn around and still kill your Cryptek. I would have not. That would have been amazing. No, okay, no so he dies. You. <laughs> However, you can't pile in or consolidate. No. Because you can't get within engager range. I so can't. with that, it is the end of your turn. Yeah. And you did hold that objective when you charged. So you hold two, you finish the action there. I've done the action here. I hold two, but that only gives me five points as we move in to turn number four. Well then, let's get this party started. Starting with uh, Uri and Rakoth moving up to this uh, door and opening it. Uri! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see them, of course. Bah! Uh, they are going to advance because they can. They're going to go there nine inches. And they're just going to... Oh, that's not going to be really enough. I'm going to spend... Oh, no, I need that reroll. I need that reroll. I'm just I'll bring it back. Okay, I need to re-roll this run roll. I need a three. I do. It just means I can hold that objective with that. So that just needed to happen because that's already cleared. So that means I have zero command points. So now the grotesques are going to run. And they're going to get with like just outside of an inch. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, and I heal because I'm Prophet of Flesh. So he just heals that wound. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to run this liquefier again. Three inches. And he's just going to get within an, just that side of an inch of uh, your <laughs> Chrono Monster, Techno Chrono Monster, in order to flame him with a liquefier gun, then potentially charge him. You have enough CP to interrupt, which is interesting. Shooting wise, I just have the one gun. I'm going to shoot into your Chrono Monster, liquefier gun. D6 hits, four hits. Dun dun dun. That's from the. Uh, that's from the new kit. Aha. Isn't it cool, everybody? Yeah, I know. You can actually, in the new kits, you, they, they come with kill team. You can like bust open the doors and stuff. It's really cool. Four hits. You need fours to wound you. Ooh. Three invulnerable saves, please. From the liquefier gun. Yes. Ooh, I'm going to spend one of yes. my five, five command points. Yep, you have lots. That's fine. And. Yeah, oh, he lives with one, one wound remaining. Excellent. Amazing. Okay, so with that, let's dive into charging. Uh oh. Urian Rakoth is going to charge. He rolls three. Is he within four of those guys, please? Ooh. It's closest distance between the two. It's closest distance between. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, we use double widget, and he's just in. And uh, so he gets to just within an inch there. Now it's the important one. Grotesques, I uh, have this charge. Okay, good, they make it. That's a three. Woo! So, it's so <laughs> close. Okay. And then my rack is going to go ahead and charge your Lord Chrono Monster guy. Rawr! And of course, so now start of the fight phase, I have to roll and on a um, six, you take a mortal from Urian. Nope. And then we're going to go ahead and attack with my little guy against your Chrono Monster first. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, I, don't wa I want him to die. Twos to hit. All hit. And fours to wound. Only two saves. Oh, no. And I don't have any command points. I wish. I wish. That would be so good right now. <laughs> Okay, John. Two. Four. Yeah. Four up. Four up, and you could re-roll. I'm gonna spend Oh my another. gosh, if you do it again, I'm gonna be so pissed. That's three out of three. Okay, well, no. It's two out of two so far. Let's see if he lives. Come on, die already. Oh, yes. no. Yes, I got you. <laughs> I got you dead. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, and he's just gonna stay right there. He's like, ah. He's oh. not gonna move. Would you like to interrupt? You know what? I counter offensive. Yes, yes I that would does make sense. Down to one command point, Mr. John. It's okay. I only spent four that round. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> infinite command points, but you spend them on little stuff the entire time. Okay. Oh, so many attacks. So I will attack the grotesque. That does make sense. Uh, they're minus one damage, I think. No, that's a different coven. Oh, okay. This is you can't wound them on better than a. Four plus. Okay. Correct. Unless you're strength like eight. 
in which oh. case, yeah. I'm wounding you on fives anyway. Correct. And okay. their toughness six now as well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, these little are the big ones. Yep. Hitting on three, four threes. Yep. Are you minus one to hit? I'm not minus one to hit. Okay. And I can't make the minus one to hit because they're coming. <sighs> okay. So many rules. <laughs> They all Ooh, and one explode. And one explodes. Nice. Needing fours. Or oh, no, fives. What He's strength five. is this one? This is strength five. Uh, because it's of the Urien doing his job, yes. making them stick around. I like it. Fives to wound. Oh my, what That's the heck? Three of minus four. Okay, it is turn four now, so I get a five of invul this time. Sure. Five of invul. One, how much damage? Three each. Okay, so one of them is taking six damage. Five up, ignore damage rolls. And he takes four and does go down. You kill one of the grotesques. Arc. All right, one more yep. time. Now the medium attacks. These are two damage? These are two damage. Very nice, but they don't explode. They do not. Hang on. Uh, Your rolling has been exceptional this game. It's been I, fantastic. I think I need one more. Cool. Hey. Nicely done. Beep. One miss. Okay. You go fives again. You go fives. These Ophidians are absolute money, everyone. Ooh. Three. Three at minus three. Okay, five up Invuls. Okay, that's four damage on one of the grotesques. And he takes three. He's down to one wound remaining. It's three on one. Okay, and now the little slashy claws. Little slashy claws. Hitting on threes. Rerolling the ones because he hates stuff. He does, they hate everything. Very nice. Moving on to fives Five again. to wounds. That's, That's two. two. Okay, two saves on fives. Come on, little grotesque. No, and two five up ignores. Oh, you kill another grotesque. Well done. That was a very effective counter offensive from the wraiths. Well, Udumiaka is like, no, my babies, he says, as he it, <laughs> and is getting ready to fight. <laughs> so he has five attacks that he can use. Uh, five of them have to, and then one of them has to be with his Icar Injector. Cool. Uh, they're minus one to hit. Sure, I get plus one to hit. So minus one, plus one. So hitting on twos with his Homunculus Tools, and wounding on twos with his Homunculus Tools. That would be two saves. At AP, at AP nothing. Uh, four up saves. Nice. One, one wound. The Icar Injector does not hit. That's one wound. You have two wounds left on him? Uh, I do. Okay, the Grotesque is going to attack with his uh, the claws. So threes to hit. All hit. Toughness. Uh, four. Okay, so I'm strength six. Not that that matters. Uh, threes to wound at AP two. Ooh, actually two at AP. Uh, three, mm -hmm. and three at AP two, and they're two damage each. Okay, uh, so five saves total. Yeah. These are actually on a five up and vulnerable this okay. turn. Okay, yeah, one has to take, uh, you have to do them, oh, I guess it doesn't matter because you don't have a feel on them. They're all yeah. the same. Yeah. Five ups, I could kill them in one go. You could? That would be exciting. Uh, five ups? Yep. Okay, I killed two. Excellent, excellent. All right. Clockety, clockety. But now it's everybody's favorite time. Oh yes, reanimation. Reanimation. Because you do have lots of, I didn't kill them all in one go. Sad. All right. Do they reanimate? And no, no. they do not. Nothing reanimates. Okay, and that's it. And then of course, boop, they're contested. Okay, so that is the end of my fourth turn. Uh, John does get five points because he does hold one as we move into your Fourth turn. Good turn. Keeping alive, killing the grotesque. That was very well done by the Necrons, but they did lose their warlord. Okay. So then we've got some flayed ones coming around. Yeah. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Scary. So they can't, can't be halfway in between. Oh, but, no, they cannot. Yeah. But they're good. Mortals just moving up to the door unless they want to run through. Uh, I don't have assault weapons, so I don't really <laughs> want to. <laughs> Two of them will be able to shoot through this door. And uh, they're very excited about life. Good job. Good job, guys. They are, they've decided they want to advance. Oh. And they will advance six inches. They are just wanting to make sure I don't score a 10. That's, that's, that's exactly that's what they're doing. 
very smart. Smart play from the Immortals. They don't, definitely don't want to die. Don't want to bank on a charge. That does make sense. He's going to open the door. He's going to open the door. Sweet. Yep. Open doors. Okay. He's just going to shoot me. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so this decided to fall back, trying to keep it sneaky. Yeah. I like it. Keep it alive. And they advance so they can't do anything. They moved up. They're going to be able to declare a charge here. And he can shoot. That rack. He's going to shoot the rack. Excellent. All right. Hitting on... Your U minus one to hit. Nope. Now? Okay. So hitting on threes. Deca, 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 deca. Ooh. Wounding on threes because he is uh, strength five on this guy. Oh, fours because. Right. Because I it have was, rules that are shenanigans. Because it was the mandrakes. <laughs> and, and they all sort of. Oh, oh beautiful. So the five ups into my one rack. Come on, little rack. You got this. Urien Rakoth is looking up on you. No, that's four damage. Uh, there are two damage each. Yeah. yeah. No, he definitely just gets evaporated. Dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, good job. Okay. Now, now, played one charge. Played one is going to charge. They're going to try and charge the grotesque. Yes. Okay. And they make it. Ooh, Six. I don't know. That yeah, should be relatively close. It's a. It's going to be very close. That's my widget. Is that a six plus a one? Oh, that is very close. There's your widget Double plus widget. my widget. There you go, you're in. Widget. You're in. The he power makes it. of the widgets. Bring it on. I don't think Urien is within heroic range of anything. Nope. He's a little too slow for any of that shenanigans. Okay, here we go. trying to bring them all in. Time to give you a good old flayed one hug. All right. Yeah, I like flayed one hugs. Flayed one hugs make me smile inside. <laughs> it's an exciting time to be alive. I suppose these are sort are of... Are they a minus one to be hit? They are. Nice. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> That's convenient. I like it. Are they a four up save? Uh, they are a four up save. Okay, cool. I'm going to turn to face you just for cinematic purposes. Rawr. <laughs> rawr. Okay. I say rawr. Very exciting rawrs. I will rawr you in I will rawr you into submission. Rawr you in rawr turn. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, you're so funny. <laughs> okay. Needing threes to hit. Yep. Sixes explode. Yep. amount of hits. Fives to wound. After an explosion, a couple of misses. Okay, how many wounds? One, like two, Reroll three, one of them. Is that just a... Oh, scissor again. So five. One, two, three, four, five, five six. Ooh, six saves. Okay, little grotesque. Will you survive the onslaught of blades? He will take this many. Five. I was hoping I'd pass at least one. I will reroll one. It's the end of the game here, so he does. Ooh. And now he needs to make one five up here to survive. He makes two. Dang. He takes two damage. Good old creations, beasties. My attacks back. Yep. Five attacks hitting on uh, twos, minus one, threes. Okay, and then wounding on threes at AP two. Ooh. That'd be two, please. Six ups. Oh, one's AP three, by the way. But oh, it well, matter. yeah. You do. Two go down. Left, left. I like it. And then do they reanimate? Needing fives. No, and oh, no, no. they stay down. Keeping things spicy as we move in to the end of the, the turn, the game. So I only get one because I don't hold more than you. So I only get five points there. Ooh. Look at that. That's crazy. We're getting really close. I get a command point. You get a command point. My grotesque heals one of his two wounds because he's a prophet's of flesh. <laughs> and uh, we move on to my turn. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I'm going to have to advance this unit of racks. They're going to go nine inches. So they're going to do that so the two flamers can see your immortals. Urien is going to run. He's going to go two, so you can go something along these lines over here see what he does he can then heal this grotesque up to full oh excellent <laughs> i love urian and uh, this boarding action that's really cool grotesques must have urian must have so i like these ophidians must have <laughs> so let's dive into some shooting okay i do have a oh. command point 
And uh, what's your protocol? The final protocol is... Uh, Movement? No, plus one AP at, okay. at, uh, on sixes. Meh, meh, meh. Okay, so two flamers. Okay, I've got one CP remaining. Let's do the two flamers into those immortals. Okay, okay, let's go. Ah, okay, only six. One, two, three. Actually, you know what? I'm going to CP reroll this one. Okay, you're... With my was... one CP. Okay, three. So eight in total. And I need fives to wounds. Come on. I only do two at AP two. Uh, five ups. Mm -hmm. Two of them will go down. Reanimations. Yep. Oh no. I got two of them. Okay, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. Now, Dra uh, Drazar. Huran is going to charge into the Immortals. Yep. Rep. Rep. He's going to go in there. And then these racks are going to charge into your Ophidian. Good. Good job. Good job. They're not slow today. I'm going to make sure I still have a guy on the objective. Excellent. Are you upset with everybody? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good question to ask. And then we will go into fighting. Uh, does Urian Rakarth make you take a more? Nope. And then over here, I'm going to start with the racks first. Cool. So two regular racks hitting on threes. Okay, so three hits. Wounding on fours. Nothing. And then my electro corrosive weapon. Threes, five hits. Needing fours. He's got three wounds. Can my rack finish the deed? Three at AP two. Six. And ups. I have no more command points, so I totally would have used it here. Can I finally kill these blasted ophidians? Come on, Rax, do it. No! <laughs> He's got one wound remaining. Wah, wah, wah. Would you like to interrupt? Uh, I would. Okay. Where would you like to interrupt? I will interrupt with my... They're going to fight before him anyway. Oh, it's... right. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'll try and punch Dorian. Why? Sure. Why not? Might as well. It'll be a fun time. Hitting on freeze. Yep. And he has toughness five. So wounding on fives. With a free reroll, don't forget. Three wounds on Urien. Uh, four ups and five ups. He takes three damage. <laughs> He's like, ow, that hurt. Blam, blam, blam. That was painful. Why would you do such a thing to me? Excellent. Now Urien gets to fight back. Mm -hmm. He gets five attack, four attacks with his little, his uh, homunculus tools hitting on twos. And wounding on twos. That would be one at AP one and three at AP zero. So the one at AP one is a four up. Yep. Uh oh. And okay, three at AP down. zero or three ups. Mm -hmm. That'll kill two so far. I'm going to re roll one of those. Okay. My last CP. Yep. And he... he stays. So one goes down. And then do I do a mortal? I do. And no, you got a five up against the mortal, right? Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then a reanimation. Two reanimation. Okay. Trying to keep them in the fight here. No, no. they stay down. Now, your flayed ones get to fight. Okay, flayed ones. Trying to kill a grotesque here. Yep, hitting on threes with mm -hmm. exploding sixes. Yep. That's uh, one explosion. He's a wound on five. Wounding on five. Two, three uh, wounds with a free reroll for. Oh, that's right. Yes, Yammer and Man bring your rules now as well. Four wounds on the grotesque <laughs> on fives. All go through. I have no command points, so it's up to his. Feel no pain. Oh. He takes one damage. Cheeky. That last grotesque doing more work than all of his other grotesques combined. I love it. Amazing. And now it is Ophidian time. Okay, uh, I suppose the last thing to fight is this Ophidian. That's right. All right, let's see uh, if he can peel off some of these racks. That would be very useful. They're minus one to hit. They are not. Are they not? No, it's not okay. They're definitely not Mandrix. 
Oh, but these are the transhuman ones. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, everything is in this in this army, basically. Okay. Well, yeah. this. I mean, it really doesn't matter because yep. hitting on three. Unless you're really, you know, you have like rearling ones. Oh, that's right. Because you hate everything. Yep. That is nice. Four. Wounding on fours. Yep. Rerolling ones. Yep. Because rerolling one. One. Yeah. Because Arkin. Is that the only weapons he has? No, nope, he, he has weapons? two more. Two more. Okay. Five ups. And Those how much damage? Two damage each. Okay. First one, and second one. No, you kill two of them. Plop, plop. Okay. And now the little ones. Yep. Hitting on threes. Ooh. No rerolls here. Wounding on a four. Yep. Oh, Nothing no. in there. Ha ha. I stayed alive. Okay, and with that, it is the end of the fight phase. And you don't get any points right now. You get points at the end of the turn. Oh, that's right. That's right, because you go second. So let's see what happens as we move into Necron turn number five. So, Moving the OBSEC model away. Oh, uh, nice. Okay, and then my Royal Warden is going to come through this door. Black. Say, Uri Rakath, I see you. I'm gonna try kill you, he says. That's nice. right. Mm. It's an exciting time. Oh, my grotesque didn't fight, did he? Yes, no, he, he, no, he, he didn't did fight. Not. No, my grotesque has to fight. Okay, oh, yeah, let's fight. Yeah, yeah. Threes or twos, uh, threes to hit and threes to wound. Uh, so one at AP3 and uh -oh. two at AP2. Two at AP2, uh, needing sixes. Yep. Do I kill the flayed ones? I do. Oh no. Bye bye, flayed ones. Blah, blah. And he's just going to stay there. Okay. Now, nice. You did this. You decided to fall back the Ophidian. I did. Okay. All and right. Now we get to shoot. I'm going to shoot those guys from my Royal Warden. I like it. I will get four shots for rapid fire two. Daga, 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 daga. I have one command point. You do. I have one. You do as well. <laughs> okay, so these will hit on threes. Yep. And then they will wound on threes again. I like it. I Two hits. Need three. <laughs> you so. need at least three, so that's that makes sense. Okay. Very nice. That's three hits. Needing threes to wound. Fours to wound. Oh, because transhuman. Because I'm fancy. I'm fancy that way and super fancy. So one free reroll, two wounds so far. Three wounds. So you've done everything you can do in that sense. Yes. Now my turn, five ups. Okay, all three fail. And now I get to reroll one of these. Oh, right, you do. Keeps them alive. Oh, no. Yeah, and then feel no pains. First one, and one dies. Second one lives. Oh. So one guy goes down. Ah. Well, all right. There you go. <laughs> cool. Um, he is going to charge it to Urian. Yep, that makes yeah. sense. Oh Black. yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like go. No, Urian, you may not. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and hmm, yes, yes. Do you take a mortal wound? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could heroic, but I can't. He stayed alive. <laughs> Yeah, that reroll was clutch. <laughs> Good reroll there. Okay, so we are going to three attacks. I like it. Hitting on threes. Your hit rolls have been Just fantastic this game. Just he hasn't missed anything. He's <laughs> John just loves the uh, the boarding actions. It just suits him. That's right. Got to invade him. Got to hit him hard. Uh, shrink five. Yep. So force. Mm -hmm. And with one free reroll. Yep. Nope. On Orion, four of Invol. He's good. Oh, okay, no. he gets to swing back at you. Yep. Uh, four little attacks with his little piddly attacks. Uh, three hit. And uh, wounding on twos. So that'd be two, one of which is at minus one. Okay, the minus one is a four up. Minus not is a, he's okay. And then I, uh, mortal wound on two plus. Yep, you take a mortal. Which yeah, I do. Yeah, you do take a mortal. Take that. So he goes down to three health. Okay. So at the end of your turn, you get one. Mm -hmm. You get one because you don't hold more. Right. Yeah. We each hold two. I hold two. You hold two. So you get five points there. But there's a five like this. Yeah. And then at the end of the game, I get five. 
I get five, you get five, you get five. So we each get 10. Uh, was it for each one? Is it just 15 points? I think I it's it just 15 per. Is it 15 per? I believe it was 15 per. Is it, uh, which one is it? Oh, it's not the first one, second one. 15 for each. So technically we each get 30. So 30, we so each, get each get 45, 45 points plus whatever. So it is a tie. <laughs> we have fought each other to a stalemate. What a great game. We'll be back with an after action report. Hello, and thank you for watching this battle report with John the Cron and myself. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Um, real nail biter. Grotesque. Grotesque. And uh, Ophidians are terrible. They're, they're actually, they're our lists are getting better. Like we are, <laughs> we're, we're loving this. I think I need to put in just a unit of witches with plus two inches movement drug, mm. just to like run around and just do stuff. Be like my little action monkeys. Tune in next time for Scorpex and Plasmacytes. Ooh, oh, Plasmacytes would be terrifying. Uh-oh. Well, make sure you check out John LeCron. He has a Twitch page. He does a stream every Thursday and Sunday. Um, yeah, it's going to be really cool. And of course, if you like to support the channel and you enjoy the, what we do here, make sure you check me out on Patreon. The link is down below. Thanks to all of your support on Patreon. I get to do all of this and more. So thank you very much. I love you. And we'll see you on the next video. After all, I've been Scar. This has been John. The Quran. Signing off until next time. Bye. Ah, the Dark Kid.